was ever printed. Um, ooh, I kicked my tripod. Hello there. Wow. Sunday, so it's the time for my video. Um, I did my extra video yesterday, my horror block unboxing, so if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and uh, check it out. I'll stick a card up here so you can go and check that out. Um, <clears throat> my live stream did not work this week. I'm not sure if it had to do with the update to YouTube or if it was VidCon, um, but the usual way I go through it is through Hangouts and my broadcast button never showed up. So I thought that Hangouts was not letting you do it that way anymore. Um, but upon trying it later, um, yesterday evening, it appears that it is working now. So I'm hoping to get back to my live streams on Fridays at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, so please go join me over there if you would like to. We do, um, some writing prompts and things like that. Uh, usually pretty short ones, um, so that we can do them all together. Um, we'd love to see more people joining us and, and writing comments and things like that. If you'd like to join us on stream, you can also leave me a comment below um, and I can get together with you to coordinate on um, doing so because uh, we would like to have more people come visit on stream. Um, my husband did as well a couple weeks ago and that was pretty fun. Um, the biggest problem there is that because we don't have headsets with mics, um, he had to like sit at my desk with me. Um, which worked out okay, but that is not how we have to do it for everybody. It's just that we are in the same room, so he can't just stream to the same stream or you're going to be carrying this book twice and it's awful. My progress for this week. Um, I just finished chapter two, typed it in, put it all up, so hopefully I can get that out to my readers after I get done with my up, one of my videos uploading so that I can edit it. And I just started on chapter three. I have like, I don't know, a sentence out of it, so I'm not far. Chapter 3 is a little longer than Chapter 2, I believe, so I just need to be patient with it and understand that it might take me a few extra minutes. This is also getting further into the actual story. Um, the opening stuff is just a little easier for me to get through. So, hopefully um, this will go as well as Chapter 2 did. There wasn't much in the way of problems with it. It was much more um, just like little things, uh, overuse of the word that things like that that I see in all of my writing um, that I always have to edit out. So I'm hoping that 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 we're going to continue with that through this chapter. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do is that I just found that there's a writing habits tag. Uh, I saw the tag from JLW Reads. Um, she had said that she got tagged by, I believe it was Jesse Elliott. Uh, and I'll link all of these below. Um, so she was tagged by Jesse Elliott. Uh, neither of them knew who did the tag, so I did a little bit of research and looked back. It looks like the earliest um, version of the tag, I can find this from Shay Lynn Wrights. Uh, I will tag her below as well. Uh, she says that it was uh, created by someone named To Dream the Impossible Dream. However, this channel no longer exists. When you click on the link on her page, it tells you that that's no longer um, a video. So whoever that was, they're no longer around. Um, so I... Um, but I wanted to make sure that I cited who it was who originally made the tag. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. Here we go. Uh, the writing habits tag. All right. Question one, typed or handwritten? Um, I'm a typing girl. Type, 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 type. I don't handwrite almost anything. I hand, I hand edit, but I do not handwrite. Um, sometimes when I'm editing, I'll write sections by hand. That's entirely because I'm editing by hand. Um, I prefer to type all the time. Uh, I type really fast so um the idea of handwriting is just stifling to my ability to get my thoughts out the cursive or printed um i have a sort of hybrid handwriting thing that is a little bit cursive a little bit printed um it's i, I can't get it to do one or the other specifically so uh, i guess my answer to that is strange hybrid that sarah made up uh, show us your favorite pen uh, I have a couple. These are the pens, and I have a package of all different colors of them. These are the pens I use to edit. Um, I'm currently using my green one because all of the rest of them are dead. If you want to look, there's not... I mean, it's already half gone. Um, I use them very quickly. Uh, but as far as just, like, writing things in black ink or whatever and what I use at work, it's these. 
Um, I do not like gel pens. I am a slider, like I rest my hand on my paper. If I use a gel pen, I tend to smear everything everywhere, even though I'm right-handed. I understand that most people say that that's a left-handed problem. Um, I'm right-handed. Well, I'm sort of right-handed. Um, I bat left-handed and I kick with my left foot and things like that. So I'm kind of a hybrid there too. I'm just a hybrid person. But I just, the way I write, I also write entirely sideways. So when I write, I typically write like this, um, which is strange. I write like I'm left-handed. Um, but I do it with my right hand. So that's why I don't use gel pens. Uh, where do you like to write? You're looking at it. This is where I write 98% of the time. Um, I've gone on a couple writer's retreats. I really enjoy writing like um, at a campground out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but obviously I need electricity because I also am a typer. So um, typically I type right here at my, or I write right here at my desk. Um, sometimes I might relocate to a different room in the house once in a blue moon. Um, I will edit or write at a diner or something, and that's mostly so that I can just have massive amounts of coffee without doing any work myself. Um, it's way worth it to me to pay someone to just deliver coffee to me and even pay like a whole big, like, I pay two fifty for coffee, I sit for three hours, um, I leave them five at eight dollars um, because I'm taking up their table. I have no problem doing that because I don't have to do any work and they're bringing me coffee. Who are your five favorite authors in terms of authorial style? This is a hard question and I wrote down a list, um, but I couldn't stop at five. Um, so as I've mentioned before, Stephen King is probably my favorite author. Um, I read everything he puts out. I just absolutely adore his writing style. Um, so um, once again, I can go into that at a later date. Uh, that would be a whole freaking video. Um, so Stephen King would be number one. Um, Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son, but has a very different voice. Um, I enjoy his voice a great deal. Uh, I really like reading him. Uh, Tim O'Brien, he wrote The Things They Carried um, and some other books, which because I'm being filmed right now, I can't think of the names of any of them. Uh, but I absolutely adore The Things They Carried. It has stuck with me through probably a decade now. Um, I just really love that book. Um, and it's there's something very special about it. If you've never read it, you should definitely check it out. Chuck uh, Palahniuk, I think is how he says it. Um, I've heard it pronounced so many different ways. Um, some of them absolutely embarrassing, like Palahniuk. That makes no sense at all. Um, but I think he says it's Palahniuk. That's pretty easy. Um, let's see, Neil Gaiman. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a nerd kid, so... Um, I like all that nerd shit, and Neil Gaiman's like one of the literary gods of nerd shit. Sylvia Plath, uh, I grew up a little goth kid, so of course I love Sylvia Plath, you kind of have to. Uh, William Golding, I'm a huge Lord of the Flies fan. Um, it was one of the first books that was assigned to me by a school that had darker themes that I really kind of latched on to. Um, <clears throat> and then Harper Lee, uh, I actually liked uh, Ghost at a Watchman as well as um, To Kill a Mockingbird. I understand that it's not exactly uh, what Harper Lee wrote initially. I know that there's some uh, hybridism of Harper Lee's voice mixed with To Kill a Mockingbird and things like that, but I enjoyed it as well. Um, I really enjoy her voice. I really enjoy To Kill a Mockingbird. So that's a short list of the um, favorite authors that is more than five because I don't follow rules. What are your three favorite books on writing? Um, number one is Stephen King's on writing. I don't care what your opinion of Stephen King is. If you have any interest in writing whatsoever, you are doing yourself a disservice if you've never read this book. Everything about it is amazing. It is written um, in a way that is low enough on the knowledge scale that you pull something from it if you have no knowledge of writing, but also if you have tons of knowledge of writing. His Thoughts on writing are very interesting, whether or not you agree with them. Um, he is also, um, as I am a pantser, I feel the same way about those things as he does, but I don't think you need to to appreciate the book. I think it's a really well done book and it's definitely worth your time, whether or not you actually think that you will like it or whether or not you like Stephen King. On Writing Horror, which is edited by Mort Castle. I got this from um, Reg Digest Books, I believe. Uh, this is definitely really handy if you're a horror writer. Um, I enjoy it a great deal. I do go back and look at it. I understand that with 
<clears throat> I also apparently fold the pages over when I'm putting it away in my boxes to move. Um, I know a lot of people uh, don't read writing books cover to cover. This one's really good for not needing to do that. Um, I'm largely picking ones that are close by because I don't remember the names of books um, that I read once ages ago. I haven't read a lot of writing books recently. I read probably 50 of them in like 2010. Um, so it's not something I need to keep reading every single book that comes out on, but I do definitely still go check back in the, on these books. Um, The Midnight Disease, it's, um, by Alice W. Flaherty? Flaherty? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I've expressed to you guys that I don't say names right. Um, this is also a very good book. Uh, I haven't read it in quite some time, but I enjoyed it a great deal when I did read it. Have you ever competed in NaNoWriMo? Yes. Um, I've competed in NaNoWriMo, I think the first time was like 2008. I've done it on and off since then. I've completed several years. Um, at least one of those years I didn't actually document it on the NaNo website. Um, my first novel, Inside Darkness, was actually completed during NaNoWriMo. Um, you can get this on drivethroughfiction.com, which is down below. You can get it um, hardcover, paperback, or ebook. Have you ever won NaNoWriMo? As I said before, I've won several times. I've also failed several times because I'm a writer and that's how we do things. Have you ever had anything published? Yeah, I, I um, along with publishing my own work, I actually had been publishing uh, short stories prior to publishing my own uh, short story collection. And here's my short story collection. It's Suggestion 376. This also is available on Drive Through Fiction. It's very reflecty. Um, so I actually published some of these stories uh, previously, and it does say in the story where it was um, published previously. Uh, everywhere that I published, I only had first rates. But there's also some random stuff in here. So if you are interested, click on the link below to drivethroughfiction.com. All my work, you'll find this. You'll also find two other short stories that are absolutely free. So if you're interested in that at all, please click below and go ahead and go check those out. What projects are you working on now? Um, as I've mentioned about 6,000 times, I'm working on Hell's Bend right now. Um, I'm going to my readers right now. They're getting a chapter at a time with a bunch of questions. Um, I'm currently on chapter three right here. This also includes a bunch of notes about what I'm doing right now. So that's pretty exciting. What is your soundtrack to writing? Uh, that really depends. I kind of go between watching things and listening, like watching slash listening to uh, shows and uh, listening to music. Um, I have a tool channel that I listen to quite a little bit when I'm when I'm writing, um, which is largely music from um, tool and similar kinds of music. Um, and then I have uh, I I watch sometimes I'll watch like American Horror Story, which I've seen seven or eight times. Um, I've watched uh, Ghost Hunters. I've watched Unsolved Mysteries. I've watched, um, oh, Oddity Files, which is a YouTube channel. Um, I have an, a, an a, I guess I call her a friend. Um, she's a friendly acquaintance. I don't really see her enough. I mean, I see her occasionally. We talk online, mostly. So an online friend, essentially, um, who is in Oddity Files. Her name's Kitsy. Uh, she is absolutely wonderful. The channel's really good, and it's one of the few um, horror, like, ghost shows where they actually don't bleep out the swearing, which makes it really, um, it makes it much easier for me to watch because the beeping really sets my brain off, um, and it's hard for me to focus when there's all this beeping going off. So, um, when you have a bunch of people who are scared, they might say shit. Um, it does happen. So not having every five seconds having beep, 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 beep is really helpful. Um, so that's one of the things I like to listen to as well. Um, it's not so much about what I'm watching as the tone it sets. Um, <clears throat> because I write horror, I have watched things that set a very melodic horror tone. Um, I have watched Twin Peaks in the past, however, with the new series being out right now, I can't side watch Twin Peaks right now because I'm constantly trying to figure out if I've missed something that I'm going to notice is in correlation with this season. Um, but before the season came out, it wasn't that hard because I knew there was no more info 
that I was going to get. And now that there's more info, it's really hard not to just, um, not to just focus on like, uh oh, did I miss something before that I need to know now? Um, so for now, Twin Peaks is off limits. That will come down the road. I'll be able to watch it again. The new season is a beautiful tone. So I think once I feel more comfortable with the new season, I'll be able to run that in the background too. Um, but all in all, that's pretty much um, what I like to do, what I like to listen to when I'm writing. Do you have a writing pump up song? Uh, I don't know that it's a pump up song, but one of my favorite songs that makes me um, feel good to be a writer, uh, strangely enough, is um, Cake Open Book. Um, I just, I really enjoy cake a great deal, um, both the band and the food, so accepting cakes now. Because I enjoy the music a lot anyway, the, the, the song really kind of like gets me wanting to write. Um, <clears throat> it's also a very good driving song. So, you know, I enjoy that. That does it for the tag. Um, once again, the person who originally did the tag to dream the impossible dream is no longer on YouTube so far as I can tell, unless they've like canceled their channel and started over. If they have, um, and somebody knows this, they are more than welcome to tell me below. I'd love to be able to tag the person who originally came up with it. Um, so I'm going to just say that it, the earliest video I can find is from Shaylin Writes, so um, if you're looking for an early tag, that would be it. I will also put the questions to the tag down below. I know sometimes people forget, and so um, you have to do a little bit of investigating to find the questions. I am confident I'm going to remember them. Trust me. I don't know if I trust me. This is Mr. Crowley. He's my buddy. You going to talk? You're stubborn. You don't even see that you're there. You're such a good boy. That's my big kitty. My other kitty's sitting across the room staring at me. <clears throat> so that's Mr. Crowley. He just earned a title. Um, I have to hire him a squire now because someone has to enter a room and announce him before he can come in. Uh, his full title now is His Royal Crinus, Mr. Bob Huge Hands Crowley. Um, he also happens to be the... Uh, county assessor but that's kind of a long story um i didn't tell him he could run for office but he won anyway okay i think that does it for this week i will be back next week with my regular video hopefully on friday i will do my live stream as well please subscribe um or subscribe and um like this video and help me kind of move up the list so that more people can see it uh i would like to see you over on twitter tumblr uh, Instagram or Snapchat. I'll put links to all of those below. I also have a Patreon page. I would love to have more patrons over there. Uh, currently, it is the only place to see the cover to Hell's Bend. Um, I'm hoping that I might put it out on July 4th publicly. So if you don't have the money to support me on Patreon, Patreon right now, um, keep an eye out for that. I'll probably release it initially on Twitter since that is my favorite place. I'm going to go ahead and tag CJ, even though she probably doesn't want to do this, but I'm tagging her anyway. Um, I don't know who else has done this because it's so epically old. So I want to tag everyone else who hasn't done it. Anyone who thinks it sounds like fun, anyone who thinks they might enjoy doing this or thinks people might want to hear their answers or anyone who's done it in the past who their answers are different. So, um, so if you're watching this, you're tagged. So I will see you all next week. Um, have a good week and good writing. Bye. <music>